Hello and welcome. I am Nitesh Pradhan from LabVIEW and Multisim. In this section, we will discuss about that five common mistake uh, which beginners do during their LabVIEW programming. Uh, whenever a new person comes into the LabVIEW environment and he starts writing something, uh, at that time he uh, attempts some common uh, mistake. Uh, that is not a mistake, but that is their unawareness. So if you are a, a regular pro uh, LabVIEW programmer or you are a very good in programming language so this uh, platform this video is not for you it's only for those beginners who are starting uh, labview programming who start working on the labview programming let's start so our first mistake is our first mistake is this one uh, numeric subtract and numeric okay uh, divide so what is the mistake uh, subtract and divide so what kind of mistake they do so uh, first take First, let's take a numeric subtract function open. Now, there are two input in the subtract. There are x and y. There are x and y. So most of the time, uh, beginners thinks uh, they take a uh, numeric control A, they take numeric control B, and they take a numeric indicator. And after that, if they want to write A minus B, if they want to write A minus B, but by their carelessly or by their unawareness they connect the b first and a in a second b on the first a in a second so it is completely wrong okay here a minus b is not equal to b minus a here a minus b is not equal to b minus a so it is completely wrong if you uh, are serious and you want and you want to get a correct answer okay so you have to maintain you have to follow that process which you will know using control H when you will click so you will get it is X and Y and it's X minus Y and if you want to really uh, you want to get a correct answer by A minus B so connect A on the first and B on the second here A minus B is not equal to B minus A so, okay so if you will not do if you will uh, not uh, connect properly uh, your numeric control terminal sorry uh, yes your A and B uh, numeric control terminal uh, to the subtract function you will get always a wrong answer now the second is a divide and the second mistake is related to divide so now right click come here and take divide function the same mistake a divided by b if someone write a program for a divided by b so most of the time they did same mistake like subtract they connect b first and a on the second and it is the same mistake if you will do this kind of mistake so you will not get your correct answer always connect okay sorry always connect A on the top and B on the below if you really want to get uh, output A minus B so you have to make a connection properly A will be uh, A sorry A divided by B to, uh, so A should be on connect with the upper one and B should connect with the lower one A ko hamesa upar mein connect kijiye aur B always connect kijiye lower me when you will touch x and y when you will touch this divide function so aapko yaha par clearly mention hoga it will clearly mention it is x and it is y and output is x divided by y not y divided by y so it is the first mistake who uh, okay now uh, let's go to the second one most of the time uh, user when uh, they know okay I am going to uh, do one example suppose it is numeric control and I want to take a numeric indicator so I can right click and I can create an indicator right I can right click and I can create an indicator so most of the time when they aware about when they know about this create indicator so they take a boolean control and try to create an indicator Yes, it is an indicator, but the visual, but it the it's look like same. 
it's look like also a push button user wants a led here L user wants a led here but led is a different kind of the boolean led is different that is completely indicator uh, um, boolean sorry indicator boolean so you have to manually choose that led okay you have to choose you have to manually choose the led now one more mistake uh, the user the beginner do they take a numeric control and after writing any kind of the program after writing any kind of program they again take one more numeric control and they try to connect that numeric control like this so it is not appropriate it is not correct and it is not appropriate when you will touch here when you will touch either you will press the run button so you will get this error list and you will get this information information also other if you are getting this kind of error so you when you will touch you will get this this kind of information you are trying to connect a indicator okay try to connect a indicator sorry a indicator value to a controller so for that uh, if you need a numeric indicator or any kind of indicator properly so right click create an indicator either come here and take a manually numeric indicator you, okay so you have to think what kind of what kind of indicator i have required and and from where i can get that indicator from where i can get that indicator so now let's go to the third kind of mistake the third mistake is run continuous whenever we try to write a program and we uh, start learning the run continuous button helps uh, helps us a lot Le run continuous button uh, help helps a user a new uh, programmer a beginner very much but they uh, use this run continuous button during the use of while loop and for loop so it is a instruction for you whenever if you are using the for loop and while loop so don't use run continuous button because if you will press a run uh, continuous button during the while loop and for loop so your while loop and for loop will continuously uh, simulating suppose why i use while for loop i use for loop to run in my system five time i i use for loop to run my system my uh, user defined time means my defined time suppose i want to run my for loop for n time i want to run uh, my for loop for 10 time i want to run my for loop for 5 time right and each and every time whatever this data will generate i want to store the data on the array i want my function to run 5 time and i want to examine each and every iteration data that's why i am using the for loop because i have that concept finite concepts if I will run the for loop only if I will press the run button if I will press the run button so I will get that proper for 5 data I am going to press the run continuously and look at here I will get that proper 5 data why because my system will terminate my program after completing this 5 iteration but if I will press run continuous button so this system will not stop so system will not stop and I will not get my data I will not get my data because every time my system will start iteration from zero now you can see my system is continuously running and it's not terminating, terminating my program it's not uh, okay terminating my sequence of the for loop so I will not get that proper data yes I will get the data on the array but my system will continuously run so it is a waste of okay uh, time and it is uh, so please try to avoid using for loop sorry using run continuous button using for a uh, loop or using while loop suppose you are taking a for look at here Suppose if I am taking a while loop 
and my while loop is running if my while loop is running continuously if I will press the run button if I will press the run button so I can stop my while loop but if I will press the run continuously button so I cannot stop my while loop now the fourth mistake uh, user commit the fourth mistake with the array size expansion so now here I am going to show you how can how easily I can create an array suppose I have a numeric control and I want to create a numeric array sorry numeric array areas so for that click here and change it to the array it's our array so most of the time when they want to increase the size of array increase the size of array so to increase the size of array they drag this one to increase the size of array we need to drag this portion this second portion it is one dimension array we need to increase this portion it is what we can increase it top to bottom or left to right the second one we no need okay if you will increase this one that means it is two dimension array it is three dimensions you are increasing the array not size and size and dimension both are different so here so how can you increase how can you find out that uh, okay that point where you can increase so look at here if I will touch my array so here I am getting the four here I am getting the eight blue boxes if I will touch inside so I will get two blue boxes so if you are getting these two blue boxes that means you are in, you you are increasing the size of element okay that size of element the width of element not the size of array when you will get this eight boxes and you will try to touch any corner so you will get like you will get a arrow like this then you can increase that is the first and it's a common mistake user do uh, or beginners do during their start time please avoid and if you want to avoid and if you really want to uh, do fast your work so please avoid and please uh, apply one and two extra minute to understand this logic this is uh, two dot logic and this eight dot logic now the fifth number error, uh, mistake is the fifth number mistake is enter in a string most of the time when user take a string control and after writing something after writing something by default they press space button either they press enter button sorry enter button because that is their normal practice because that is their normal practice if they want to write something lab view so after writing lab view they hit the enter button sorry space button either they hit the enter button so it's create a uh, many it's create a problem uh, okay uh, many times when they want to uh, compare their string they want to create a array with their string so it's create a big problem and at that time they need to rectify they need to go and rectify each and every elements of that uh, array or the of that string so please try to avoid use uh, uh, pressing the space button and enter button when you are using a string suppose here I am going to show that example one more example suppose it is my string now here you can write only one characters like uh, sorry here you can write only this much lab view if you will press enter button so here the both line are present after and if you will press the enter button by default so you will get this new line a uh, new line again and then you will think okay uh, I need to write lab view again that means you are writing lab view again and again by pressing the enter button so don't press space button and enter button okay if it is not required so thank you for watching this video if I will get uh, more 
mistake common mistake for beginners so i will uh, make uh, other videos to explain thank you